Russia actually has one of the highest home ownership rates on earth. Over 84% of Russians own their own home, usually flats in the hearts of big cities. But what is even more astonishing is nearly 60% of them own second homes too. These second homes are often in the form of duchess, a uniquely post-Soviet phenomenon where tens of millions of citizens own their own pieces of land and country homes. You may be asking, why is this? What on earth are they? Well, let's head off and find out. And actually, my cousin and his wife recently bought Dacha, and they've been doing it up ever since. And apparently it's in the middle of nowhere, near forest. I haven't been there yet, and I'm super excited to see it. He's actually picking us up in a minute, so let's go and check it out. Спасибо. Ты не привыкай, это чисто потому, что ты в положении. Слушай, а сра... Ой, воздух-то какой. Обалдеть. Деревянный. О, какая красота. Так. Хорошо. Вау! Как у нас здорово! А можно все посмотреть? О, нет. Нет. Вау. Ну, тут, по сути, вот как бы вся экскурсия. Да. Спальня, гостиная, и там будет туалет. Да. Какие-то. Дом деревянный. О, это кто это? Да, надо еще будет вас запечатлеть. Обязательно. Так, а тут что? Тут туалет будет, да? Да, да. Это детская. Это детская, да? Здорово. А как насчет у вас были планы бани какой-нибудь? Ну, мы, если честно, сами бани не особо любим, uh -huh. вот, поэтому... Какие-то ну, именно бассейн там поставить? Ну, бассейн, да, там дальше. Ну, я будет. чисто думаю, надо. Не, ну, про... ну, Мне ну, нравится. Мы, мы Приезжайте, строить, строить, пожалуйста, О, у нас много а мест. Это, это идея, тогда ладно, я Мэтту скажу, если что. They bought this place in May and all they had is basically the land plot and uh, the foundation for the building. And they managed to build this by June. And that's it for now. They have big plans, but winter's coming and the baby is arriving soon. So now is not the time, but eventually they're gonna try and uh, change the place and do everything how they like but basically what my brother said is that the best thing about this place is that they literally just had the plot and they have the opportunity to do everything how they want it and I just love this because if I was to buy Dacia this is the ideal place because it's really far from the city it's really nice and quiet they're just the trees around here it's not overcrowded so the neighbors are not over the top of each other and apparently there is a a village over there and apparently they have like disco parties <laughs> not every evening like some weekends sounds fun should definitely come back here in the summer and experience that but yeah it's just ideal my brother was telling me that the neighbors over there are selling 
their plot as well but it costs like 600,000 А почему та намного дороже? Ага. А, то, что немножко побольше обустроено, поэтому. А, понятно. Понятно. Вида денежка нужна, но и с другой стороны хочется. И жалко тоже отдавать просто так. А, понятно. Ну понятно. Ясненько. Давай куплю. У тебя есть лишние полмиллиона? Даже больше, да? So we're just gonna chill here, have some food. And yeah, just enjoy being in the nature. I think if my grand <laughs> saw this space and that there is nothing growing here. She'd be very upset. Будем эти гудки отрезать? Нет. Зачем? Просто потом приготовиться мы их есть не будем, да и все, а что так время терять будешь? Как хочешь. А ты любишь тоже тогда спрашивать, потом по-своему делать. Я тоже так всегда делаю. В планах еще было, мы хотели эту веранду потом, ну, просто хотели, будем в доме mm -hmm. Мы думали ее, собственно, продлить. Отсюда? Отсюда. Mm -hmm. а вот, ну, вот эти вот деревяшки. Mm -hmm. И посередине выпилить бассейн. Вау! Wow. Let's go show you the toilet. А это что? Душ у вас? Ого! Попашала? Да не, я мытая. Let's have a quick rundown of what a dacha actually is. A dacha is often translated into English as summer residence or cottage. Apparently there is a theory that the word dacha comes from the Russian word dat, which means to give. During the Tsar's period, a dacha was once something gifted to high-ranking members of the nobility by the Tsar. After the revolution of 1917, the larger dachas were nationalized and turned into houses of rest for the working class. During the 60s, in the Khrushchev era, the authorities introduced programs to give small pieces of land to citizens. These lands, as hoped, were used to grow food to alleviate food shortages across the USSR. Later on, people were granted permissions to build houses on these given lands. A new dacha boom began after communism collapsed and private land ownership returned to the former Soviet states during the 90s. Nowadays, having a dacha is a means for city people to escape into the countryside and be closer to the nature. Some people still love to grow their own produce there, but I would say that, in general, the younger generation prefer to use these country homes as a place to relax and unwind from the stress of our modern world.
Я шашлык такой не ела сто лет. Очень вкусно. September it's starting to get a bit cool so we're getting ready to head back into town and my brother told me that actually their neighbor who's literally right there apparently they live in their house but this one would be a bit cool to stay over so we are starting to get ready to head back to my um, brother's apartment we decided to move our party here and we just uh, got in and we actually found some like amazing like, travel vloggers and we're just watching their videos I just thought I would share it with you wow how does it sound in the window? wow <laughs> We just got back home, end up staying around our brothers last night. And yeah, this is one type of dacha that we showed you. We're gonna see the progress of it, what they're gonna do eventually and build up and if they're gonna grow anything there. But yeah, if I manage to sneak into anyone else's dacha, I'll bring you along. And thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.